Jim sir, your response to what has happened here, the uh, situation in Delhi, as you know, is pretty grim after a heavy monsoon. Uh, you know, the infrastructure has taken a toll uh, for the worse. And obviously, a lot is expected out of Atishi as the new chief minister. She's obviously got a lot of political headwind to deal with as well. Well, absolutely, Vinis. Let me start by conveying my gratitude to Lali Singh. He had an elaborate and, dare I say, a very accurate analysis of what's going on in Delhi. Now, just three pointers to add to it. One, I would say this is a massive PR exercise. Uh, like uh, Lali Singh mentioned a while ago, Arvind K. Jival is renowned for the dare I say, drama that he plays in full public glare. He started this by his resignation in 2015, came back with a resounding majority, and uh, he got 67 seats in the following assembly elections. So he knows how to keep the public guessing and interested. He's playing to the gallery. This is nothing but a PR exercise. That is one, especially since now, he was incarcerated, as we all know, for a long time. And it was in between the Supreme Court gave him a leeway. He came in for the election campaign, did not get one seat. All right. He tried to play the emotional tumult, but did not end up winning one seat in Delhi. So the emotional high pitch is not going to garner him votes in this coming election provided he is still the sitting CM. He had to change the drama, and that he cleverly did. That is one. Two, that is after 10 years of sitting in government, a certain anti-incumbency. Well, this is something that the BJP also does from time to time. They change their uh, chief minister in Madhya Pradesh, they change their chief minister in, in Gujarat. So after a tenure, especially one as long as 10 years, there is bound to be some anti-incumbency. He is trying to navigate it through. And thirdly, most importantly, Atishi is not a career politician. She was inducted into the cabinet as recent as 2023. So for anybody to go out of their way and attack Atishi, they should be doubly certain because if you can attack Atishi, you can attack anybody for that matter. I would actually suggest that VK Saxena, the governor, be a little more careful because now it's a changed dynamics. It's not like you're playing with uh, Kedriwal any longer. You have a new person at home. You, you do not have a taint. She is popular for being untainted. All right? She is foreign educated. So uh, there is a peculiar dynamics in Delhi, one that you observe. In state, they favor the Aam Agni Party. But when it comes to national elections, they favor the BJP overwhelmingly. So this is, again, playing to the gallery. Kejriwal does not want to contrast his personality with that of Modi. He wants to stand aside and let elections take its course. And if possible, earlier the better, so that he can return back to power. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.